from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. The Voltron Force was on its way home after its adventures on planet Zol. The fierce desert planet and Planet Mira, where they encountered the incredible Jungle Woman. Now, as they passed through the Azure Quadrant, one of the young pilots veered off course, for he recognized a special nebulae where he had traveled many years before. Yeah! Isn't that the place where you saved those little kids? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, come on, Hunk. I think you just made that up. No way, Pidjo. My buddies on that planet are even smaller than you. Me? Small? I never noticed. And he's smaller and we couldn't see you. Don't tease him, Lance. He's just the convenient take-home size. That makes Hunk the double jumbo size. If you ask me, he's more like the triple giant mammoth gargantua whopper size. Hey! I'm only kidding, Hunk. Uh, why don't you go visit your friends on that planet? Yeah, we won't miss you, Hunk. Hmm. Not more than a ton or two. Ah, uh, all right. I think I will go. <laughs> See you guys later. Well, he didn't take much convincing, did he? But then, he never does. Hmm. My, my. Looks like there's some doom ships in the area. Maybe we ought to stick around. I think you're right. Especially with Hunk all alone out there. Don't want them to see him before he sees them. Good point! King Zarkon, sir? Uh, sire, it's me. Ah! Prince Lotor. What are you doing? Uh, I was just knocking at the door. I didn't hurt. No. Uh -uh. I just want to see your father. See him? <laughs> Why don't you just take a peek then? Go ahead. Look. The old man's fast asleep. He's always sleepy. But I never sleep, cause I'm thinking, thinking of ways to take his throne. It won't be long. Uh, Prince Lotor, do you really think that's a good idea? If there's some problem, maybe you should talk it over with him. Kosak! Do you have to practice to be such a fool, or does it just come naturally? Don't answer! I have an evil assignment for you! Evil? You mean wicked and cruel? That sounds great! Oh, you'll enjoy it all right! How'd you like to catch a member of the Voltron Force? King Zarkon will be very impressed! <laughs> <laughs> remember when I was here before. Incredible! They sent me from the Space Academy on a special assignment to help people. It was kind of a test to see if I was the kind of guy they wanted in the Alliance. 
The poor planet had just been invaded by Zarkon and Lotor. It was terrible. When I got there, everything was in ruins. People had no place to go, nothing to eat. And what could I do? All I had with me was a little suitcase. Hello, my name's Hunk. Hey! Come back here! Hey! Pretty good fun, huh, you guys? Yeah! All right! Yeah, we really lucked out this time. There's food and everything. Go ahead and try it, Amber. I was saving that sandwich for you. Thanks. You want to share it with me? Uh-uh. It's all yours. Where'd those kids go? Aha! Hold it. Uh-oh. All right, I <gasps> caught you red-handed. Uh -oh. Why'd you steal it? I didn't steal nothing. Oh, a tough guy. If you don't take off, you're gonna find out how tough I am. You got me scared now. I warned you. You better be careful, mister. He's a real good fighter. He knows karate and, and kung fu and everything. I'll take a chance. Nice try, little buddy. Oh, no. His karate didn't work at all. But why? Go ahead. Tell him. I... I don't really know karate. Oh. I just said I did, because, well, I was really scared. That's okay. You can go back to your friends. Oh, it's all right, Jamie. Now we're not going to have anything to eat. You kids are pretty hungry, huh? Maybe I can help you out. What? I need a good team to help me rebuild those houses. It won't be easy. There's lots to do. You'll get lots of food, and I'll even teach you some real karate. All right. That would yeah. be great. They worked hard, too, and we rebuilt that town till it was just like new. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Commander Steele, we're picking up something on the Ultra Scan. These are warp grids of the Azure Quadrant. There seems to be some enemy activity out there. Can you get me a picture, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. This data indicates that it's some kind of transport, but that could be a cover. We'll check, sir. Here it is, Commander. It does look like a transport. This is Galaxy Garrison calling the Voltron Force. Come in, please. Voltron Force, do you copy? This is Hunk. I'm the only one up here. What are you doing alone there, pilot? You should be with your command unit. I instruct you to rejoin the Voltron Force immediately. Excuse me, sir. I'm on vacation. Even a hero's got to have some time off, you know. Yellow Lion, I urge you to turn back. You're taking a great risk. Yeah? Well, I already took some risks for my little friends. I guess I could take a few more. And if those doom creeps try to wreck my vacation, they'll have their hands full. They don't call me Hunk for nothing. <laughs> While Galaxy Garrison worried about our phony transport, we snuck right past their sensors. Prince Lotor just contacted me. He's very angry, and so is King Zarkon. I shouldn't have come out here with you. We're never going to find that yellow lion. Never! Look! I've been tracking it for quite some time. I just knew you could do it, Hagar. Did you? Yet only a moment ago, you were squeaking like some frightened little space rodent. Remember, it's you who will gain from all this if I help you. Oh, yes. Please help me. If we catch Yellow Lion, I'll be so happy. I'll cover you with a thousand kisses. Please, anything but that. I didn't mean it literally. No one could survive that. <laughs> Let me tell you the story about Betsy from Pike. 
across the white cosmos with her boyfriend Spike with two purple space dogs and a digital frog. La 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 la. Wow, it's just as pretty as ever. And there's the house. I remember when we built that little place. And that place went from a bunch of sticks to a real home. What a feeling. I told them I was coming. They're probably all waiting for me. Hmm. I'm right on time. Gee, there's nobody in there. They must have forgot I was coming. Guess they just don't care about old hunk. Well, it was a long time ago. And what I taught you. Still not fast enough for you. Good to see you, Jamie. <gasps> hey, did you hear something? It was probably nothing. Yeah, maybe we should get home anyway. Okay. Oh, uh, not that I'm scared or anything. Me neither. Ha <laughs> ha! Yellow lion. It's a sitting duck. <laughs> now, this baby was made for me. I'm going to tame this lion like a little pussycat. Then they'll have to look out for a Cossack. I'll be the terror of outer space. Hey, he won't move. What's the matter with this jalopy? Ah! Forget it. Ah! It's broken. I take it you've never heard of keys. Never mind. We don't have to fly the thing. We'll simply dismantle it. Good idea. We'll sell off the parts and make a cash profit. You always think big, Cossack. About as big as your little brain can manage. Why does everybody pick on me? <gasps> All right, soldiers, listen up. You guard this robot lion good, or you'll answer to me. Cossack the Terrible. I'm going to get that Voltron Flyboy. Understand, you rusty tin heads? We better go tell Hunk. Come on. Here. Take a hike. Guards! Yes, sir. Bring them back in chains. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Yeah, it was just me and him. The biggest row beast you ever saw. Did you find him? Yeah, but only after he attacked us. Remember, Voltron is a defender and protector. He doesn't go looking for trouble, and you shouldn't either. I'd fight for Voltron and the Alliance. <gasps> huh? <sighs> Cossack, he's here. He must have followed me. Don't worry, Hunk. We'll help you. Thanks. But this is grown-up stuff. You wait right here. All right, frog face. You want to fight? You got one. Hunk, we all took a vote and decided we're going to fight with you. Gee, you guys are really serious about this, aren't you? Totally. We want to be just as brave as the Voltron Force. You are brave, but you know you got to be careful, too. Anything you say, Hunk, we just want a chance. Remember, these are the guys who ruined our homes and made us orphans. Now we're old enough to fight back, and it's our turn. All right, then. You got a deal. Shh. There it is. But there's guards everywhere. Jamie, can you distract them? You better believe it, Hunk. When it comes to making noise, we're experts. 
What's up? I'm gonna run for the lion. I bet it's exciting to fly Yellow Lion, isn't it? Huh? Ah! And here I go! Ah. Greetings. <gasps> I made it! Not so fast, Flyboy. What? That's right, we caught your little friends. Give up or their history. Oh. I give. Well, team, should we go down and interrupt Hunk's vacation? I've been trying to reach him, Keith, but he just doesn't answer. Not at all. He's probably on a beach somewhere fast asleep or having a nice little snack. Yeah, the kind of little snack that would feed the average family of 12 for a week. All right, team, what do you say we go down and find Hunk? Come on down, Mr. Voltron Force, and give me the key to that lion. All right, I'm coming. This is all our fault. Huh, don't worry about us. Just take the line. Silence. No more stalling or these kids have had it. I want that key. Now. All right, I'm coming. Psst, psst. Oh. Time's up. Guards, fire blasters. Please wait. I'm getting down. It's a long jump. Out of shape, huh? Who, me? No more chit-chat. Get down. Now do it. I'm getting a cold from Yellow Lion, but it's scrambled. Huh? I'll bet he's in trouble. If he is, he won't be for long. Let's go. Now, the key. Reach right into your pocket. Gotta get it to work. She needs some help. Let's do it. Yeah! The big team is on the scene. They came through. and the girl is safe. Hunk! I did it, Hunk! I flew Yellow Lion! Good going! Okay, team, here I come! Ready? Yeah! yeah! Prepare to form Voltron! Activate interlock! Dynatherms connected! Infracells up! Mega thrusters are go! Let's, Let's go, go, Voltron, Voltron Force! Force.
me a crest! Let's fight fire with fire! Now! Ice beams! Cool! Look out! Horn blazing sword! Ready, team, strike! from that roll beast vulture. Oh, boy! Hey, hey. You were great! a bunch, guys. We couldn't have done it without you. See you soon. Us too, right? Right. right. So long. See you, Voltron. Come back again. Come back again. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Ah! What a miserable failure! You call yourself a witch, and you, Cossack, I suppose you were just along for the ride. No, sir. I thought you would be an improvement over my worthless son, Lotor, but no! Down on your knees! Yes, yes sir! Yes, sir. Your Please Majesty. forgive us! Your royal bonus! That day, the forces of darkness were foiled and left in disarray. While on a distant planet, a group of children enjoyed a sunny afternoon, thanks to their special protector, Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Everyone was overjoyed when they met Garrett, for he was Koran's long-lost son, or was he? Gaining the trust of the Voltron Force, Garrett turned his power to evil. He stole the giant pulsar cannon to use against Voltron, for Garrett was actually an evil clone sent by Prince Lotor to take over the castle and all of planet Eris. When he lured Voltron within range, Garrett ordered the Pulsar Cannon to fire. The terrible blast left Voltron at the mercy of one of Zarkon's most powerful robeasts. Here it comes again! Uh, let's go! Garrett's the one who did this! I didn't trust him from the start. He tricked us all. And he's still down there with Nanny and Koran. He could do anything. Ah! We gotta turn and fight! If we do that, they'll blast us with the cannon. You're not kidding. That thing's no pop gun. It's pulsar power. Ah! Yes, we must avoid the cannon. No, Princess. We're gonna let that cannon blast us. What? We've gotta make Lotor think that he's blown us to pieces but we'll only have a split second to fool him. Okay, big guy, if we get blasted, so do you. Let's turn him around. There! Okay, team, when the blast hits, it'll hit this row beast first. Cool. Why are you sitting around? Sir, we await your orders. I ordered you to blast Voltron. Yes, but Voltron's keeping the Robeast in front of him. We can't get a clear shot. Then blast the Robeast, too. Blast both of them. Give them a taste of some raw mega power. Captain, prepare to fire. <laughs> <laughs> 
or your life is in peril. Yes, sire. We've got them on the scanner. Moltron and the Rope Beast are in range. We're ready, sire. Fire! Disconnect! <laughs> I've blasted him to bits! Voltron is destroyed! <laughs> He's finished. You all saw it. I've destroyed Voltron. Hail, Hail to Prince Lotor, exalted, exalted commander, commander of the forces of Juno. <laughs> Prince Lotor, Garrett is calling from Castle Control. Garrett, huh? All right. Well, my favorite clone. Hail. Prince Lotor, I wish to remind you of your pledge that if I helped you defeat Voltron, you would send a Starfleet with 10 million clones and that I would be declared their supreme leader. When will the Starfleet arrive? Starfleet? I don't remember saying anything about a Starfleet. You must remember. Enough. Don't call here and bother me again. Turn him off. Wait, you promised me. You said you'd make me supreme leader. These clones will believe anything you tell them. <laughs> Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. who defeated Voltron, who took control of the castle. How could Lotor do this to me? I don't care. I'm better than he is. Better than all of them combined. Yes, I'll find a way to take over Eris myself. Who's out there? What are you doing? Hurry, keep drilling. We've got to break into the control room. Guards, Turn off the power so that traitor can't stop us. Yes, sir. Fools, do they think I need light to see? I'm not a helpless human. I'm an X-411 clone with infallible neutron sensors. Now let's punch up some auxiliary power, just enough to catch them by surprise. <laughs> Koran, I have devastating news! It's Voltron! They shot him down with the Pulsar Cannon! No! I can't believe that is true. <gasps> shot Voltron! The princess, is she all right? I don't know. We can't find any sign of them. But after an explosion like that, I'm afraid we may have lost them all! No! They must be somewhere! All right. Soldier, alert the Alliance. Yes, sir. We've got to try to fly in under their scanners with our robot fighters. Men, you know what to do. Yes, sir. Oh, tell me, what is it you're planning, Koran? We'll try to knock out that cannon. Our robot fleet is so small. Small but fast. We'll do the best we can. <gasps> Hands up or I'll stun you all. Garrett, what are you doing? Have you gone mad? This is Koran, your father. I have no father. What are you talking about, you silly boy? Everyone has a father. <laughs> Every human, you mean? I should hope so. You're certainly not a robot, are you? Now, Garrett, please, you were such a nice boy. He's not a boy, don't you understand? He's a clone. He was synthesized on planet Doom and sent here to trick us. No, he's not your son after all. You catch on real quick. <laughs> Your insolence is intolerable. I will put up with it no longer. You won't have to, Father. <laughs> they did it. They actually shot at me. Here, 
dear father. I suppose you called to congratulate me, but that's not necessary. Destroying Voltron was my pleasure. You fool, while you've been celebrating, Koran has ordered a robot attack. A robot attack? But how? By flying under your scanners. You are a commander because you are my son. But if you continue to fail me, Lotor, you will be replaced by a technotronic robot. Mark my words. Hmm. What does he know anyway? Send some ships to scout the area. I don't think there is any attack. What's that alarm? Prince Lotor, it's a sneak attack from Koran's robot fighter fleet. Well, I have no choice but to teach them a little lesson. Prepare the cannon. Aim at their robot fighter. We have the ships in our sights, Prince Lotor. Open fire. Robot fighters have been detected. They're firing at them with the pulsar cannon. Surprising them was our only hope. There's nothing we can do now. The robot fleet has taken a direct pulsar hit. All ships lost. by surprise. Now their robot fleet is nothing but rubble floating through space and time. <laughs> That's what happens to robots that challenge the Prince of Doom. <laughs> Lotor thinks he's destroyed the mighty Voltron. He thinks planet Eris can no longer attack us. What does he have to think with? He's a numbskull. So he saw Voltron shot down in pieces. Voltron is always in pieces. They'll reunite and send him home defeated. Even Kitty agrees. Lotor will never learn. He's a born loser. No, this time, Your Majesty, Prince Lotor has proved himself worthy. Really? Voltron is formed from five units to defend itself in a fight, but never before has it been forced to disassemble and fall apart. Can it be possible? No Voltron? Oh, it's true, sire. I saw it in my crystal ball. The universe is now all yours to conquer. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Oh, oh. This is Black Lion. Anyone there? Yeah, I'm here, Black Lion. Me. Me too, Keith. Am I mad? Calm down, Hunk. I know you're worried about the princess, but she must be out there somewhere. <laughs> Who are you? I am called Ulunam. <laughs> Careful, you were hurt when your lion crashed. <sighs> I have to find my friends. I know they need me. Your friends are looking for you even now. They will find you soon, for I am leading them here with the power of key. Key? What's that? The power of the mind. It tells me, for instance, that you are wondering about the son of one you love. Koran. Koran's true son was brought to these very hills by his mother. The people were digging underground tunnels. Zakan came looking for them. Did he find them? No. My tribesmen hid the mother and child in a secret place. They did? Yes. Zarkhan was furious, but it didn't matter. I used my mental powers to call forth a star fleet from the dimension of Elsu. They beamed up Koran's wife and true son. They live happily now in a dimension where even Zarkhan can't reach them. 
You see this? We built it to fool Zarkhan. We told him they were buried here. He's never been back. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. Koran's wife and son are safe in another dimension. <gasps> Those ships were sent by Prince Lotor. Without my robot lion, I can't do anything to stop them. But we can! It's them! They found me! Black lion, green lion, red lion, yellow lion, they all made it! Fire proton missiles! I'm gonna ram that one! This one's gone for a little spin! So you see, Garrett wasn't his son after all. He was an imposter. Poor Koran, he must be so hurt. It's a shame. I feel bad too, but we gotta think about that cannon. It's pointed right at the castle. You said it doesn't work at night. That's right, it's solar powered. But you can bet as soon as the sun comes up, they'll open fire. And blast the castle. Then we've gotta stop them. All right, you heard the lady. What about Blue Lion? They're working on it right now. So when they get it fixed, then you can catch up with us. No! Princess, I'd like to keep the group together as much as you would, but the sun will be up soon. We just can't wait. Team, this is one of the toughest challenges we've ever faced. We've been through a lot together, and I know you'll all do your best. Sometimes I wish we didn't have to fight all the time. It's so peaceful up here. It makes you think. Know what I mean? Of course I do. I'm not a city boy. I grew up in the mountains. Yeah. Then Zarkon came and destroyed our homes. I wasn't a fighter. I was a country boy. I lived in a hut, just like that. Every night I used to count the stars. I never dreamed I'd be flying among them. I used to count the stars, too. How? With a computer? <laughs> <laughs> all right, team. Ready to move out? Ready and willing! Let's get these lions humming. Yeah! All right! Let's do it! They're taking such a big risk. Oh, I hope they'll be okay until I get there. In a moment, the sun will rise and the Pulsar cannon will be ready to fire. Good. The castle's our target. When that's destroyed, I have a thousand Doom cruisers to attack planet Aris. No, sir. Did you say no to me? Sir, your father, King Zarkon, said no more than 500 cruisers. King Zarkon? I'm weary of hearing about him. I'm commander here, and I gave you an order. Wait, I'll do as you say. A thousand Doom Cruisers, two thousand if you like. Prince Lota, the sun is rising. The Pulsar Cannon is coming up to full power. We have the castle in our sights. Good. Make sure your aim is perfect. By destroying Aris, I will prove that I am even more powerful than my father. I will be the new king. Prince Lotor, we await your command to fire the cannon! Ready, and... Ah! Ah! Way to go, team! Keep pouring it on! I thought we got rid of them, you incompetent halfwits! Open fire! Ah! Keep moving! Look out! They can't form Voltron with only four lions. That cannon is indestructible. Yeah, we need the princess. I'm coming, you guys. Let's form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go, Voltron Force.
for pike attack. Let's go. Sire, Voltron's flying toward the cannon. Retreat. I'm going to stand my ground. He wouldn't dare assault me. Afraid. I am not afraid of any of them. They've turned on the power. Lotor must have taken over. Prince Lotor, are you there? He must have lost the battle. This is the time to make my move. Oh! They're here. Hold it! Koran trusted you, but you tricked him. We believed you were his son. You betrayed us all. What you did is appalling. You think I care? Uh -huh. <gasps> Help him! Good thing it was only a stun gun. I couldn't help it. I was programmed by a computer to do those awful things. I wish it could have been another way. I could have been happy, but it's too late. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. I have failed my people. I must resign. Because of me, this planet was almost destroyed. I allowed my personal feelings to cloud my judgment. It is true that Garrett was captured and put in prison, but not because of me. I have dishonored myself and the royal house. I must resign. No! Horan. Your only fault was having a good heart. You made a simple human error. And what are we fighting for, if not the right to be human? No, you're not perfect, Koran. But you're a good man. Thank you, Princess. And you're as necessary to the peace and security of our world as the whole Voltron Force. We can always be certain that planet Eris will remain free and unconquered as long as we have dedicated leaders like you, Koran, and Voltron, Defender of the Universe. <laughs> 